Yesterday, Governor Cooper teasing that this summer will look a lot more normal. While that should have been music to businesses ears, restaurant owners are now met with a new challenge, hiring workers. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris explains why that is. Good evening. Well, they say good help is hard to find, but apparently at this point, any help is hard to find. Of course, businesses are excited that the restrictions are ending soon so more people can dine with them. Problem is they're having trouble finding people who will work for them. After over a year of empty chairs and increased to go orders, restaurant owners may finally get back to serving more people in person with the end capacity limits and social distancing requirements coming June 1st. Yes, how cool is that? There's just one catch. It'll be good, but I need help. After having to run the business with a limited workforce, Angelo Tapelis, the general manager of the French Quarter restaurant, says now it's hard to get them back. We, we're putting ads, you know, on, on paper and on, on Facebook and online. It's just, you know, the government funding, you know, it's hard for people to want to come back to work. Capella says some former employees have told them they're still not comfortable with coming back. It's not just us, it's all the it's all the bars and restaurants that are having the same problem. Queen City Craft and Gourmet owner Charles Reed has even increased pay. We are now paying dishwashers what we used to pay cooks. We're paying cooks what we used to pay managers, and we're paying managers more than we ever have by a lot. If you shut down and then tried to get people back, God help you. Dilworth neighborhood grill owner Matt Wolfart says a lot of his staffers have been with him long term and believes it's in part because of benefits. We have a 401k plan. We have health insurance. Still, he's also added more benefits to ensure they stay around. Throughout the pandemic, we've guaranteed a level of tips for the servers. So if they ever went below a certain amount, we stepped in. Wolfart believes it could lead to a market where businesses have to incentivize workers or boost pay more than ever. If you've got people who are willing to work for this amount, then that's what it that's what it'll be. He says if it comes to that, we may just see a rise in the cost of food to offset it. It has to come from somewhere. The owners tell me they just hope the restaurant worker force has a change of heart soon so they can be fully staffed by the time the restrictions roll back. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.